Often, when preparing a large meal for a holiday or a gathering of family or friends, people will serve a turkey, duck, or chicken as the main course. Here's some things to consider, whether you have a fresh bird or frozen, and if it is frozen, some safety tips for how to safely thaw the bird. Fresh birds probably should be obtained, I would say, no more than two, maybe three days maximum before Thanksgiving. So that person's looking at buying that turkey Tuesday, Wednesday if possible. That way you're going to ensure that there shouldn't be spoilage with that bird by the time you open that bird to start Thanksgiving morning. The other option is if the person's using frozen. Frozen means you're going to have to prepare and you're going to have to do some thinking. The procedure typically is that when in a refrigerator, put the bird on a drip tray, bottom shelf, allow one day to every five pounds of food. 10 pound turkey, give it two days, 15, three, 24, 25, five days. It's Thanksgiving morning and we're ready to prepare this turkey. One of the most important things a person has to do is make sure that they wash, rinse, and sanitize the areas where the preparation is at. Hot soapy water to wash the area, then turn around with a clear water rinse to wipe that down, remove the soap. Third step has to be sanitizing. With sanitizing, you're going to use a teaspoon of bleach to a gallon of water. What you want to do, dip your towel in the sanitizing solution, ring, wipe an area for about five to six seconds, but then go back to the solution. Exposure time should be about approximately for 30 seconds. After that, allow that space to air dry. Next, let's make sure, Jeff, that we have people wash their hands thoroughly. When you're handling poultry, it's a requirement that in restaurants, wash them at least for 20 seconds. Make sure you get hands, all areas in between nails and areas like this, and make sure those areas are done thoroughly in the process of. Now, for our birds when we're cooking, it's important, it's horribly important to make sure that people cook foods to proper temperature. The requirement for poultry is that poultry must reach at least 165 degrees for 15 seconds. If you're doing any whole meats, whole meats where you're talking about doing maybe pork, fish or beef, those have to go at least 245 degrees. And then your ground meats, if you're doing a meatloaf or something of that nature, it has to go at least 155. One thing all people should do is use a thermometer, check your temperatures. If you don't use a thermometer, at least check food for doneness. Take a fork or knife, stab into areas like joints in between the leg and the thigh, or thicker parts. As long as the juice runs clear, you're in good shape. Blood indicates on your cooking, and that food may need additional cooking until it's done completely. Sometimes during the holiday meal, you want to go back for seconds or even thirds. Here's some steps you can take to make sure the food is safe throughout that meal. When we talk about serving, the big thing people have to understand, the biggest issues that we typically have with food is that people leave food out for extended periods of time during Thanksgiving. Many cases of foodborne illness happen here. A recommendation is that leftovers should never be left out of refrigeration for more than two hours. If you're going to go past two hours, my recommendation is that you're going to start putting your food into shallow pans, things like stuffing like this. If you've stuffed a turkey, remove, it from the, remove the stuffing from the turkey, put it into a shallow pan, no more than two inches in depth. Leave that uncovered, put it into refrigeration. Your turkey, your meat, your roast, recommended, recommendation should be that we're going to slice them, put them into parts, legs and thighs, either at least portion the breast into smaller portions, even best slice them, put them on a sheet tray, because thin meats are going to cool much faster. People can figure to one every inch of food, if you square it, one inch of food takes about an hour, two inches takes about four, four inches takes about 16, eight inches can take 64. You want that food as thin as possible to help speed the cooling process. With your leftovers, the rule of thumb with restaurants is that restaurants will allow a maximum of seven days with leftovers. And that's a pretty safe rule of thumb that people should think about in their homes as well. One thing a person may do is just figure that if you've cooked the food on a certain day, you've got until that Wednesday of the following week, because we consider the Thursday the day of cooking as day one. You add six days to that. One of the things that people do want to consider, maybe they want to date mark their foods, do something like that. Make sure you avoid mixing raw with fresh. You want to make sure that you have your leftovers on upper shelves. Uh, any other raw meat, make sure you put it on the bottom shelf always to avoid cross-contamination. Now, reheating. Here's one thing a person has to do. Most people will have a tendency where they will cook, cool, reheat, cool, reheat. That procedure is dangerous. People should always understand that food should be cooked, cooled, reheated one time. After that, food should be discarded. People should always portion their foods and use the amount of food that they're going to use per meal versus reheating the whole thing. It's much safer. It's a lot safer for the foods. For more tips on food safety, visit our website www.kcmo.org health.